In the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains, Josh's underground still site build has been put on ice after discovering the telephone poles he constructed it from are coated in a toxic preservative called creosote. Well, this creosote stopping me from being able to work on my steel site and everything else stacking up on me because I ain't bringing in money and paying my bills. It's really important that I start making moonshine. How long has it been since you've used this pot out here? It's been years. You told me there was a little bit of damage to it Yeah, or yeah, you'll see. How in the hell you ever talked me into this? Wait, wait. Five years ago, Josh constructed a submarine pot with his former partner, Bill. But attempting to relocate the massive still left a gaping hole in the bottom. Dang, that's the big old pot. It's a 600 gallon pot, so I can make a lot of liquor fast. And Tickle knows a hell of a lot about submarine stills, so I was hoping that he could maybe come down and help me repair this thing. Let's flip it up and get a better look at what we're gonna have to work with. You know, I'm not sure exactly what shape this thing's in, how long it's been in the woods, but I would be nowhere if somebody like Henry and Kenny or Tim didn't help me out. So if I can't give that back to my fellow moonshiner, I don't deserve the hand I'm getting right now. I believe what I'd do is just cut you a hole and patch it right here. You're just really needing this run to get you out of this pinch, right? Mm -hmm. That's all you're needing it for. I brought a cutting wheel, so let's get at it. Let's go ahead and do it. This thing has got a very large hole in the bottom of it. It's not the easiest thing in the world to fix and make the fix be right. Y'all ready for this? All right. Oh, that bitch is hot. <laughs> One of the things about this is making sure that your two pieces of metal that you're putting together are extremely clean. You do front and back? Yeah. You've actually got to sand this thing where you're getting right down to a brand new metal. I'd run that right on that seam. Yeah. Pretty good aim. Yeah, ain't doing too bad there, are you? I swear I've been uh, talking about staying out of trouble, but I'm doing everything in the world I can to get myself back in it. <laughs> in Polk County, North Carolina. Pick her up! With a submarine still repaired, thanks to the help of fellow outlaw shiner Tickle, Josh is ready to mash in for the first time this season. Let's start running some water up in her. Let's do. Pull on it. Give it like a siphon. Pull on it. Somebody pull on it. I'm doing it. Well, can't we cut, cut the hose down? You know what? Uh, Cuz got a good idea right here. Cut the damn hose. Pull the siphon. We're gonna get a better siphon uphill like this. I don't know if he's in, knows I actually cut this thing yet. He's up there just talking away. Yeah. <laughs> he's still working with that end of it, but that's all right. Keep siphoning. <laughs> there she goes. Stay up there where you at. <laughs> yeah, I can feel it working. Keep on signing. <laughs> Keep on going. You got it. <laughs> Wait, let's stop here a second. What'd you do, cut that and I stand up there for nothing? <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I appreciate you coming to help us do Not this. No problem, brother. All right, let's get our mashing stuff ready. It's really cool now that we got Tickle and Colt here and we're all getting to do this at the same time. All right, dump that on in there nice and easy. Colt, this is his very first run. We're also making future moonshiners. You made that burner yourself, didn't you? Yeah. You got her wide open, Tickle. How do you know how much to put under there? What, how much heat to put under there? Yeah, what, what Throw it to her. When she goes to getting ready to boil, you cut her back then. I'm glad to see Josh passing this heritage, and I feel privileged to be here to help him pass some of this on. We're stirring all this up. We got to melt this sugar, and we're going to heat all this corn up in here, and that gets the fermentable enzymes in the starches, and that's what this yeast is going to wind up eating to make alcohol. You know, the passing down of knowledge is the whole reason that moonshine is still alive, and I'm glad that I have the opportunity to keep moonshine alive, hopefully forever. You smell that? That's accomplishment. Yeah! <laughs> that's what that is. I 
come out here and check the mash yesterday. It's ready running. That's a good thing. That's just in the nick of time. Thank you, Tickle. You welcome. Uh, tickle me, Elmo. Tickle me, Elmo. Yeah, I had to live with that one growing up. We're getting her warm now, boys. Oh, we might ought to start stirring this pot. Yep, let's get her dead. Yes, sir. Now, this submarine pot that Josh has got right here, that's 600 gallons. Keep a stir on that thing. You go to heat this pot up, and you keep stirring it until she's stirring herself. Eventually, once that mash gets hot, she'll start moving on her own. What do you think? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's oh. steaming, isn't she? That's oh, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, you see now yeah. what I'm talking about, about it rolling? Yeah. You can see it moving itself. We don't have to keep a constant stir on it. It's about time to cap her. Ugh. We need to go on ahead and chain this cap down. For what? Well, see, there's going to be pressure build up in this thing. It can blow that mash out of there. So that we pretty steam. much got a bomb here. Yes, yes. Well, that's exactly what we've got here is a bomb. bomb. Slide her up under there just a little bit more. There we go. Ain't a whole lot to do now, but wait. A whole bunch of waiting. Hell, cuz, have you seen? Well, I would, but I'm out of buckets. Yeah, there you go. Ooh. All right. Tickles, is this all you ever did? Well, you know, I, I moonshine for a good part of it, but I've held other jobs. I've done construction work, I've done industrial maintenance, and every bit of it comes in handy when it comes to making moonshine. When Tickle got here, I really didn't know what to expect. I wasn't 100% sure whether we were gonna be able to get this pot working or not. But we got it working, got it done. Now we can make some liquor. I tell you what, when you're a moonshiner, you got to basically be a master of everything. Yep. That's Jack good. of all trades and master of none. That's right. It's starting to run now. Yes, sir, it is. All right. Let's drink her. Can't drink it yet. Why? Uh, that's your heads. There's some poisons and some toxins in there. You got to get rid of that. Well, let's see what we got here. What are you doing? All right, we're proofing this. This right here, I'm going to say probably running off about 165 proof. Hey, Let me see. Yeah. What do you think? Money. Woo. Yeah. Sir, it tastes a whole lot like money. I tell you what, that's better than money. Of course, the moonshine will get you through a door dollar bill, won't it? This will be in Colt's first run, and the first time that me and Colt and Cuz and Tickle have ever made liquor together, everything went really damn good. I couldn't do what I do without my team. I love y'all. Well, that's right. We got that's it done. Right. I'm glad that I came over here and I helped Josh. Look, all I ask is if I need you, you come help me. It means a lot you come out and help us get all this going, because there's a lot of work for all four of us. We can yes, drink it now. Let's have a drink on that.